Hiking at Jefferson Memorial Forest. Just saw a bunch of deer run off this way. But they were on a dead run. I'll probably never catch up with them. I'm gonna hike this way for a little bit. They ran down this hill. And I can see they're long gone. This trail is still, still pretty slick. I don't think there's been too many people hiking. Probably should have waited a few days until this ice melted before I tried to hike this, but I was missing these trails. My trail marker reached 15. I'm gonna hike down to Mitchell Hill Lake. Looks like someone lost a glove. And these trails are still pretty slick. These trails are slick, so I'll stay off the trails. This isn't too bad when you hike like this. Try the trail again, it doesn't seem too steep right here. A little water running down to the lake. on it. This is pretty slushy. I see deer tracks in it. This guy's going the other way. It's a pretty big footprint. More tracks, but they're old tracks. Looks like several of them went up this hill. I've seen a big buck in this area before, and this is probably his footprint. There's some smaller prints here too. Big one and then there's small ones. Could be a big doe, big mama doe. Look how thick that ice is. At Mitchell Hill Lake. The snow is melting pretty fast. Goes running down into the lake. Very slushy right here. I'm seeing a lot of deer tracks. They must come out at night because I never see deer in this area when I'm hiking. Water draining out of the lake. And this bridge is pretty slick.
Lake's pretty icy this morning. Now I have to go hike up some steep hills. I don't want to be full. Hiking up this trail and I see deer tracks all over the place, but I don't see any deer. These tracks probably belong to the mother, and these smaller tracks belong to her little one. These tracks don't look too old. That's private property over there. It's better hiking up these steep hills than hiking down them. If I was hiking down this trail, I'd be sliding all over the place. Made it up that without falling. I'm just trying to survive this hike. If it wasn't so slick, I'd probably follow some of these dirt tracks. These are old tracks here. But I've seen some fresh tracks. I'm almost up to the top of this hill. Oh, deer tracks everywhere. Most of them are old tracks, so. Saw a bunch of deer run down that hill earlier, but they were gone before I could get my camera out. deer trails down there. That is a deer trail down there. I followed the big buck down there about a month or so ago, but it leads to private property. Made it up that steep hill from Mitchell Hill Lake. I'm now at trail marker H10. There's the Haran Conference Center up there. I'm hiking back to that area where those deer ran off this morning. Sometimes they'll circle around and come back. Beautiful morning. Deer tracks on this trail and they look pretty fresh. Yeah, these look like fresh tracks. Well, I lost the fresh tracks, probably ran up that hill, or 
we're down that hill. Four pretty good sized deer tracks headed in that direction down that hill. I've followed deer down that hill before, but I'm not going to do it today. That hill is too steep. More for us tracks. Where is it going? Going up this way. So that's where I'm going. See the difference in size? So small deer with its mother. I love following deer tracks. Now where to go? I lost those deer. I think they turned around and hit it back down the hill. Big old crows on the ground. They saw me and flew off. I think I'll go hike to the Haran Cemetery. That's a pretty easy hike. It shouldn't be too too slick. Some more old deer tracks. This is Shannon's Pond. On my way to the Red Trail, and I'm gonna hike up to Wren Cemetery. These are pretty good sized tracks, but they're old. This is headed back to the campgrounds and the Red Trail. This is White Oak Ridge Road. Very slushy. I always see a lot of deer tracks at Jefferson Memorial, but I never see a lot of deer. They're smart deer. When they see people, they run. I'm gonna hike Cemetery Road up to to the Haran Cemetery. This road is part of the Red Trail. Look at all these deer tracks. I'm gonna take that little bridge across to the Red Trail.
tracks are everywhere. This is where the red trail connects up to the to Cemetery Road. And this is where the orange trail starts. This is a new trail that they just opened recently. leads to Cemetery Road. And Cemetery Road is part of the Red Trail. There's the gate to Cemetery Road. And here's the marker for the Red Trail. Somebody had a big dog, huge footprints. This trail is very slushy. Occasionally I'll see deer on this trail, but not very often. The snow is beautiful, but now it's starting to melt. And it's getting nasty looking. I'm ready to see it go. I'm at the trail marker for the orange trail and the red trail. This is trail marker H7. This is where the orange trail comes up. And this is part of the red trail. When I see deer on this trail, they're usually running away from me. Hiking up to the Duran Cemetery is a pretty easy hike. I don't like this slush. My feet are starting to get wet. Waterproof murals are not very waterproof. Water resistant, but not waterproof. It's false advertising. It's beautiful up here this morning. Very peaceful. Marking the red trail. This is the easy part of the red trail. I'm not going to hike the hard part today. I'm going to hike up to the cemetery, then turn around and head back to my car and then go home. I like to hike the whole trail, but not in these conditions. Probably end up breaking some bones. And that trail marker H14. This trail leads up to the cemetery. And this is where the red trail continues on. And I don't want to break any bones, so I'm not going to take that trail today. I'm approaching the Haran Cemetery. Someone lost her scarf. 
It's not a very big cemetery. This is where Emmett and his wife Helen Horan are buried. Emmett Philip Horan, he was a cardiologist. They lived where the Horan Conference Center is now. When they died, their family donated all the land to Jefferson Memorial. This is an older stone. This is where Emmett's father was buried. He was also a doctor, but he was an iron nose and throat specialist. Beautiful up here. On my way back down to my car. Sun came out a little bit. But it didn't stay out long. Definitely a beautiful morning for a hike. Passing the orange trail. Hiking on the slush is better than hiking on ice. I have been hiking on this when it was frozen, and that's not very much fun. This is the trail I took earlier. Coming to the end of Cemetery Road. That's the bridge I crossed earlier. A lot of crows up here. It's up in a tree now. Making a little noise now. That's the one making a noise, not the other one. That's the one that was making a noise.
got one more area I'm checking for deer and then I'm going home. I don't see any tracks, so I don't guess they made it back here this morning. Oh, and there's some deer tracks. Oh, that did look old. Yeah, they are old. Back to my car. Deer have been here. But they're going in the opposite direction. I'm on my way to my car. Got here too late this morning. Running in the opposite direction. I'm almost back to my car. There it is over there. This hike would have been better if I'd have caught up with those deer, but it was fun trying.